The following set of slides is going to give you a brief overview of the lecture I'll be giving in Sweden. Use hardening for red set. We use Kirin lights every day in our offices. The trouble is, all the lights that we use seem to produce an acceptably hard surface at the top, but we don't know if the bottom is hard. I shall also be discussing what I call the irradiance gain, where very small changes in the tip diameter can have large effects on the irradiance. We'll also be discussing the importance of good operator technique when placing and when curing posterior composite resin restorations. I will also be showing you how different LED curing lights have very different emission spectra and why this could be an issue with some composite resins. I'll be showing you the broad emission spectrum from the Velo curing lights and how this broad spectrum is uniformly distributed over the entire tip and should cure all resins on the market. I'll be explaining why it's really not a very good idea to purchase one of these budget curing lights over the internet. I shall be discussing the importance of access and the effect of angles on the curing of the resin. We shall be talking about the potential heating effect from powerful curing lights that are available on the market today, and also practical points such as the cost of batteries for curing lights. I shall be discussing the blue light hazard and its relevance to dentistry, especially with the large amounts of blue light that we're using in our offices every day. So come and listen to me speak either in Stockholm on May the 8th, or in Malmo on May the 9th. In the meantime, which curing light should I buy? Oh, Just catching a few rays. <laughs> Dr. Price, what's the best curing light? Oh, it comes my lecture for that. See you then. <laughs>